Good evening! Welcome back to yet another unboxing. I promise this channel is not becoming an unboxing channel. I just have been doing a lot of unboxings because it was Speedcube Shop's Black Friday sale. If you missed it, you uh, really did miss out because they were giving away a free cube with every order over $50. For this one, I've got this random 5x5. And also we got the MGC 7x7 and uh, the main event, the Diane Guhong V4. And also some... Uh, juice. So yeah, uh, let's get into all that stuff later because I'm really excited for this Guhong V4 because a banana. So I'm really hyped for this. I don't know if people are hyped for this cube, but I'm hyped for it because uh, this cube is 65 gram, which is really light. I think it's the lightest cube. I'm not, I forget how much the GAN 11 weighs, which I have right here. This is either the lightest or second lightest cube on the market right now. And I'm really hyped because I'm sick of people being like, oh, I have to get a GAN cube because I, I like light cubes and there are, there's no other brand making light cubes. Well, now there is. Not that I have anything against GAN, I just want people to save money. Also, speaking of GAN, this box is really nice. Like, I really like this design. Ooh, it's a silver Diane logo. Oh my god, is Diane becoming GAN now? What is this? Oh my god. At least it looks nicer than a GAN bag. And a screwdriver. And now let's open this cube. Good, good, good. <gasps> It's not wet. This is some real uh, next level stuff for Diane. And it's re it is really light. Let's get into first turns. It's a little unstable right now. Yeah, it's really loose. It's really fast too. It's fast and smooth and the magnets are really strong. Ah, this was a contender to be my main, but these magnets are so strong. God, I hate light cubes with strong magnets. Like, uh, I don't know if my GAN 11 review is out yet, but I don't like it. Uh, even though I just got my PB on it yesterday, I do not like this. It, the magnets are too strong, but yeah. Oh man, that's disappointing. I do like the way it feels though, and the magnets aren't that noticeable when I'm actually doing turns. All right, let's try corner cutting. Knowing Diane, the corner cutting is gonna be ridiculous. Easy. All right, so it maxes out around here, that's good. Uh, reverse corner cutting, easy, easy. Okay, and that's forward corner cutting, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's have a look at the pieces. Ooh. That looks, uh, that looks like a Gan piece. Yeah, those look, those look like Gan pieces, don't they? Is Diane really just trying that hard to be Gan? This is a $15 cube or, or something, I think. So I'm guessing there is no customization. Yeah, no, it's just a screw. I kind of want to make this slightly gummy. Oh, actually, let's try peppermint in this. Oh wait, no, it's not called peppermint. What's it called? Candy cane, right? This cube is pretty fast, so I wonder if candy cane is going to make it too fast. One, two, three, four. So candy cane, I've never tried it before, but uh, on Speedcube Shop's website, it says it has a 10 rating for speed. Oh my god. Damn, it smells really strong. So it has a 10 rating for speed and also a really high gumminess rating. So it's like fast and gummy. And I know in a recent video I said I don't like gummy cubes, but I don't like slow gummy cubes. So yeah, corner cutting wall turning actually isn't that great. I really do like this cube, but I feel like it needs to be a little bit tighter. I don't know though. I feel like if I tighten it, the magnets will feel even stronger and I don't want that. Yeah, this definitely needs to be a little tighter. Yeah, all right, it's tighter. Now let's check the corner cutting. Okay, it can still corner cut well. Yeah, I think that feels a little better. Or maybe it just feels unstable because it's so light. I'm gonna try putting some more candy cane in here so that it's like exaggerated so I can feel it more because I can't really feel the candy cane. I can smell it though. I can definitely smell it. Just going like this with the candy cane feels really nice. It's like slightly, like you can feel the lube is there, but it's like, it's not slow. Hmm, I don't know. I really do like how this feels especially with the candy cane in it. The strong magnets don't really seem to bother me that much. Like, when I'm turning fast, I can't really feel them. Where are they in the piece? Are they close to the inside or the outside? Hmm, yeah, they're right up in there on the outside. Are the intervals red? Huh, they are, very nice. Oh yeah, by the way, this feels nothing like the Tangyun. I don't know if it feels like the Guhong V3 because I didn't have that. Uh, the Guhong V3 was 54 millimeters. So it feels like every Guhong that Diana releases is like a new niche, which is really, really cool. I, I wonder what they're gonna do next. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just rambling at this point. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to see how I feel about this cube in a in a week or so. Cause like I like it. It's really light and it's fast, but the magnets are really strong. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. All right. And next, uh, let's get into this five by five first. So this five by five just says mystery item and there is no cube logo or anything on it. So I don't know what brand it is even. So yeah, this is literally a mystery cube. Yeah, you guys probably know me already. I don't use stickered cubes, so I won't be using this really stable it's fast but stable but it has like a lot of lube in it and it's really tight what is this cube is it magnetic it is not magnetic um let's loosen this so that i can take a piece out of it how do these center caps come off i don't what the hell? I don't know how to loosen this. If anyone from Speedcube Shop can uh, leave a comment on this video telling me what this 5x5 is, because I have absolutely no idea. Or like if some like cube nerd can like guess what this is just by the sticker shades or something and like the fact that it is pretty fast, but it's tight. Oh yeah, let's let's test the corner cutting on it. Not very good and not very good. Well, it's tight, so whatever. What can you expect? I, I don't know what this is. This is weird, but all right. Let's get into the seven by seven, the MGC seven by seven. So with this, uh, I'm gonna have every single w say double, double, WCA event. So that's pretty cool. I don't have enough room for another giant cube on my shelf though, so. So this is apparently the best or second best 7x7, debatably. I think the other one is the Spark, X-Man Spark, or is that the 6x6? I don't know. I just know that the other good 7x7 is $60, and it's also much smaller than this one, so that's an advantage. I love YJ's boxes, the MGC lines boxes, they're all really cool. Oh boy, that's a lot of pieces. That is a lot of pieces. <laughs> Not even gonna open this box. There's like always nothing in there. It's probably just a screwdriver and maybe some spare magnets and spare springs in case you lose yours. This thing is huge. <laughs> oh God. It turns better than the six by six. It's like pretty fast. As you can probably see, I'm not good at turning big cubes. Yeah, let me go get some lunar. This this is pretty dry. Oh yeah, I haven't tried the inners yet. Inners are a lot slower. All right, let's just put a couple drops of lunar. Okay, good. So this is gonna be my first time solving a seven by seven. I think I average like three minutes on six by six. So I don't know what I'll average on this, maybe like five minutes. I already know how to solve this. I just have never actually done it. I think I solved a virtual one, but not a real one. Definitely not a real one. I've never seen a seven by seven in person. Does that look scrambled? I think that looks pretty scrambled. Um, let's just choose a random color to start on. Let's start on orange. Excellent. And then V perm. I'm not gonna try to do the RUD one. Good. It feels a little better than the six by six, I'd say. Cause the six by six feels like really slow, but this also feels pretty slow. Or maybe it's just cause I'm not confident turning on it. People say this is the best seven by seven. So I guess I'll just say what they say. This is the best seven by seven. That's why I bought it. I can neither confirm nor deny that. That's just what I heard. Yeah, now I can solve every WCA event. Isn't that nice? Um, yeah, I'm really excited to see how this Guhong performs and uh, tell me what 5x5 this is because I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it for these unboxings. Next up is the review of this. Let's see what Crimson from the future thinks of the Diane Guhong V4. What's up guys? This is your boy Crimson from the future here. Two whole months in the future. 
God, I need to learn how to make videos faster. So the main traits of the Guhong V4 are of course being really light, but also really fast and effortless to turn. It feels a little like a GAN cube, but it has a sort of unique feeling that I can only describe as spongy or squishy. I really like it personally. The corner cutting while testing is pretty good, and the magnets have a weird thing where while you're turning fast, they feel super light, but as soon as you slow down a little, they feel as strong as the GTS 3. I think a lot of people would like that effect, but I personally don't, and I wish the magnets were placed closer to the inside of the pieces for a less pronounced snap. The Guhong V4 likes slightly more accurate turning than, say, the RS3M 2020 or the Volk Elite. If you're too rough and inaccurate with this cube, you'll get a lot of small catches, and occasionally some pretty big lockups too. However, if you put just a little more effort into your turning accuracy, you'll get a really smooth solving experience where everything just glides really nicely. I personally do pretty well on this cube, but the M slices are difficult because of the magnet strength, and some Sometimes I turn just a little too rough and I get some weird lockups like I mentioned earlier. So I'm a little more inconsistent on this cube, but I'm still capable of getting sub 10 averages on it. So I think this cube has a really solid place on the market. The GAN 11 is the only other cube that's this light and it's four times the price. And I wouldn't even say that it's better than the Guhong V4. That's just my opinion though. I know some people will prefer the GAN 11, but the point is they're pretty comparable and have a lot in common in the solving experience. I recommend this cube if you want something light and really fast, but if you want speed more, then go for the Worm 2020. I also recommend this cube to people who want the GAN 11. Get this cube first and see how much you like it. If you don't like it, you might want to rethink getting the GAN 11. And if you love it, you should also rethink getting the GAN 11 and just stick with the Guhong. Yeah, it's just really hard to recommend a $70 cube, especially when a cube that's a quarter of the price is so similar and in some ways better. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you want to get any of the cubes I mentioned, in this video. Links to buy them on Speedcube Shop will be in the description. And remember to use the code DRAGON at checkout if you want to support me and get a discount on your order. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and if you like the song you're hearing right now, the link to that will be in the description too. See ya!